Just minutes ago, we heard from the Prime Minister of Israel at a conference in Jerusalem. He surprised many by simply not addressing at all Trump's upcoming remarks, but he did pound on the threat he sees from Iranian terror. This is what Iran is trying to do. Iran is trying to build an empire. Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, from Yemen to Gaza. Ultimately, they want to conquer the Middle East. We will not let them establish themselves in Syria. We will not do that. We uh, say what we mean, and we mean what we say, and we do whatever is necessary to prevent that. But equally, I think this is not merely an Israeli interest. This is your interest. So today I have one request for every diplomat in this conference. Immediately after my uh, speech, please uh, draft a cable to your country's foreign minister, my counterpart, or to the president, or to the prime minister, and ask them to apply more pressure on Iran. So why didn't Netanyahu today talk about Trump's big speech during his big speech? Channel 10 News reports that Trump specifically asked Netanyahu to, quote, keep a low profile and asked that other Israeli ministers do not rejoice over his announcement. Meanwhile, Israel's Channel 2 News is reporting that Netanyahu has been an active partner and has been working in close coordination with President Trump in the lead up to today's speech. Trump called Netanyahu last night to keep him updated. And Trump reportedly expressed concern about the potential fallout. Netanyahu on the phone encouraged and reassured him. Channel 2 News here in Israel says Netanyahu's winning argument basically came down to this. Separate the issue, Mr. President, of Jerusalem from the rest of the peace process. Recognize Jerusalem as our capital, accept that reality, and then let's move forward in earnest. 